our next speaker. Here's what we got. We got a Mr. Chuck Doyle, a.k.a. Coffee Cup Chuck. He's the co-owner of Luminous Technologies. Uh, it's actually a Kansas City-based electrical uh, electric and lighting company, the founder of TAMIC, which is actually known as the American Mastermind Investment Club and the host of Positive Talks podcast segment, Monday through Friday blog called The First Cup KC. He's got an associate's degree in business and science marketing from Everest University, and an ATM certificate at Toastmasters International Professional Speech School. A lot of you guys know about that. And currently, he is on his way to be a top motivational speaker and social media speaker. We are honored to have him here. Ladies and gentlemen, Coffee Cup Chuck. What up, ladies and gentlemen? How you guys doing today? Hey, Great. Hey, how, you guys? how are you, sir? Man, all right, all right. Can you guys hear me well? We can hear you loud and clear. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, we thank All you right, so well, much for being here yeah. with us. And we know you've got a powerful message for us. So we are going to turn yes, the stage over to you, my friend. Hello, everybody. Hello. All right. So I'm going to start it off with a journey. On our journeys to becoming a better you, you are always going to encounter obstacles. So those obstacles, they can be small, they can be big. Today, I'm gonna give you a story. And that story, I hope you get a better understanding of why it doesn't matter the size of your obstacle. What really matters is guess what? How you continue through it. You gotta stay consistent in the stuff you do. If you're not consistent, you tend to fail more. Well, about a month ago, I'll say a month and a half ago, my wife and I, along with my daughter, her, her husband, four of our grandchildren, and two of our animals, we took a trip. Spokane Camp, Spokane Creek Campgrounds in South Dakota, Keystone to be exact. This was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful campground. And the people there were very, very nice. We took this trip, though, because we wanted to bring awareness to our grandchildren that, you know, when people get together with the common goal of doing something great, great things can happen. And I know you guys are looking at this first slide. This slide right here is a picture of us standing in front of Mount Rushmore. So we took this trip up to Mount Rushmore. And man, like I said, it blew me away to just finally get to stand in front of this monument. The grandkids, they loved it. I mean, this was a good lesson for them. But this wasn't the lesson we all walked away. This ain't the lesson we walked away with. What we walked away with was something greater than that. Overcoming obstacles. So we didn't just go to South Dakota to see the, see the mountain. We also went because we wanted to experience somewhere different than where we were. And we wanted the kids to kind of like nature walk and see mountain items. We were hoping to see the bighorn rams. We didn't see any, but the crazy thing about this trip is we, we decided to take the, the naturalist thing you could do, a hike. And this is where the story gets deep because that lesson we thought we were teaching those kids about, about Mount Rushmore, it was outweighed by Cannon Ray. Yes, Cannon Ray. Cannon Ray is our five-year-old grandson. He's, uh, he's a little overweight. He's the one you see in the front there throwing up the L for Luminous Technologies. You see my grandkids, they love the company and they love to see their grandfather get over all of his obstacles. So this one would be a good one for little old Kane and Ray. You see, being overweight, it becomes uh, an ability, uh, a disability. And he can't move like the other grandkids you see. So he tries harder and harder and harder than the other ones to, to get things accomplished. Well, we were going to take this hike, but before we take this hike, we had to at least make sure 
that this is something that Kane and Ray was going to be able to do. Like I said, this was going to be a hard hike. He agreed. He said, I want to do just like the other kids. Another thing about Kane and Ray is he might be big, but he's active. He's very active. I'm going to tell you how active he is. He loves Michael Jackson. And what does Michael Jackson like to do? Michael Jackson likes to dance, kind of like Izzy. Everybody know who Izzy is. He likes to dance, so he does stay busy. He does stay moving. He can move, but he just can't get rid of the weight as fast as he's gaining it. But he was going to learn something valuable today. So this, this mountain to him, it's called the American Flag Trail. It's about a mile and a half up and a mile and a half down. And as you can see on this picture, it's kind of like a foot wide dirt trail, kind of rocky. So we already knew from the beginning that this climb was going to be a difficult climb. But, hey, we were going to help them. So we started up this mountain. About 300 feet into the mountain, we hit our first obstacle. That obstacle was a five to six foot slated piece of rock had little divots in it to where you can actually get over it. But to Kane and Ray, this was a very, very tough looking thing to get by. I can't do it, daddy. I can't do it, daddy. I can't do it. His dad looked at him and said, yeah, you can, because I'm gonna help you and I'm here and we're going to get through it. So let's go. He continued with his, I can't do it antics, but he got over the obstacle back on the trail. Everybody else was kind of like, you know, a little farther up. Than, than we were. I kind of tried to stay back behind a little bit just to help out in case I had to. But I didn't want to get in the middle of this father and dad moment. So I kind of let him handle his situation with his son. Well, about 100 yards up in front of the first obstacle, there was another one. And this one was even harder than the first one. As you as you all know, Ken and Ray, he started with those, those antics again. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it, daddy. I can't, I'm tired, my legs are hurting, all the excuses. But his daddy was there and he told him, listen, son, I got you. Keep moving forward, let's go. Despite all the crying, he kept moving. Now we're halfway up the mountain. And I, I'm at this point, I'm kind of like, eh, I want to catch up with everybody else. But at the same time, I know this mountain is going to get a little bit tougher to climb. So I hung back. We got halfway up the mountain. Kane and Ray comes to his hardest obstacle. And this was a very hard obstacle because it was a lot of rock, a lot of uh, maneuvering. You had to really think your way through this one. But his daddy was there. And his daddy had his back. But Ken and Ray, he didn't want to go further. So he fell to the ground and started crying as hard as he could. Daddy, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. This is just too much. It's too much. I can't do it. Well, his daddy sat down next to him, drew his legs up, put his hands around his, his, his knees. I was kind of like standing behind a bush. I didn't want him to see me. I just wanted to see how he was going to handle this because despite the climb, I knew this kid was hurt. I knew this was a very, very hard thing for him to do. This was an obstacle. A lot of people would look at this, this, this hill, this mile and a half hike hill, like it's, it's just basically a, a hill. But to him, this was Mount Everest. So he cried. But his daddy told him, look, son, dry your eyes, wipe your face. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to look down that hill. I want you to look down. And what I want you to do is I want you to tell me what you said at the bottom of the hill. And he said, Daddy, I said, I can't do it, Daddy. And I can't, I can't. He said, well, what you doing, son? Look, we halfway there. So I want you to do me a favor. I want you to get up. His daddy stood up. I'm still behind this bush watching this. And I'm like in tears right now because this is it. This is the moment. This is the whole reason for the trip. This was it. If anything else didn't matter on this trip, this was the moment. 
Kane and Ray got up. I can't, Daddy, I can't. But they continued up the hill. They got to the top of the hill where the flag was. Kane and Ray had the biggest smile on his face. I mean, this kid was happy and accomplished. He had just gotten over all of the obstacles that came in front of him. He had help, but he still did it. And they stood there and took a picture with that flag waving above them. That's a tale that can last a lifetime for that kid. You know, that day that kid found out that no matter what, he can get through anything as long as he keep moving in a direction that's going to get him to where he want to go. If you take anything from this message that I'm, I'm telling you today, if you take anything from this story, I want you to take this. We go through a lot. We go through a lot. But check this out. In order to become the best version of you, in order to become this new version, you first got to get over the obstacle of the current version. Kane and Ray had to climb down that hill, y'all. And when he climbed down that hill, it was, I can't, I can't, I can't, all the way down, just like he did up. But guess what? For the rest of that trip, he walked with his chest out because he knew he accomplished something that he put his mind to, and he didn't give up. Become the best version of you, to become the best version that you can of yourself. It's your choice. It's your option. And you can do it. A lot of people don't understand. Look, we're here today. We're right here today, standing in front, accomplished. We've done everything we've been through, everything we've already been through, and we're here today. So do me a favor, y'all. When you come across those obstacles, don't let them. Don't let them. Don't let them overcome you. Become the best version of yourself. My name's Chuck Doyle, a.k.a. Coffee Cup Chuck. And thank you guys for listening. Coffee Cup Chuck. Hey, uh, Chuck, how do I am, I am I do I sound a little better? Am I less feedbacky? Just better. I don't hear that. I don't hear that wild, loud whistle that I Got heard it. before. Okay, good. Yeah, it was. I don't know what was going on, but we fixed it. We got a new mic. We're all set up. Uh, Chuck, nice. great, great job. Um, I, I, you know, have you ever thank heard you, thank the? You. you remind. It reminds me of this. The the I guess the pair the fable of the football field where the guy carries him on his back and they keeps he's saying I can't go any further. Can't go any further. He goes, there's no way that I can carry somebody on my back for ten yards. The next thing you know, he goes all one hundred yards. Yes, I seen that video. Blindfolded, yeah, the, right? blindfolded because you just you, as yes. long as you don't know what's a, we are so afraid of what's ahead of us not yes. realizing that we have the fortitude we have the ability to do it uh how long ago to, how long ago was that trip this was about a month a month and a half ago uh, wow. i think we headed out it was like june no it was july uh it, i don't think it was even that long ago it was june 28th that's right nope. it was right before the nope nope it was july 28th so it was recent. What's great is, and, and I, and you know, I, I know you've been getting into motivational speaking and speaking more and more, uh, the ability to find stories like that in your own life, they pop up. Yeah. They, they, they are always yeah. there. The, the way that you can look at life, the way life hands uh, a, a regular, what seeming, what seeming like a regular day to you and how it hands to you a story that you can actually motivate people and give information to and spread that yeah. kind of love and messaging. It's fantastic. Thank you, man. Thank you. It it just blew me away because, you know, you see I see the emotion and the the dad himself, Anthony, man, the dad himself, it, he gave me a bigger understanding of how much of a dad he is just by being able to experience that. And I'm glad I didn't interrupt it because some people just interrupt things. But that that kid, he will always grow up. And remember that story. So, and I hope everyone else, you know, remembers it because it, it's it's something to walk away with. It really is. Absolutely.
Absolutely. There's some great parallels there. The parallel of the father and the son, not not yes. to get too spiritual, but we it, we all know that sometimes we are afraid to do things because we don't have a foundation behind us. We don't have someone there to catch us if we fall. But the fact that you were able to tell us that wonderful story and then illustrate it in the pictures of that his father was always behind him and always encouraging him to move forward and he was able to do it even though it he did it kicking and screaming he still knew that his father was behind him to yes. catch him if he fell and when you become the best version of yourself it's a lot easier for you to do when you know that there is someone yes, or something there to support you and to literally catch you if you fall and to pick you back up so that you can keep moving forward so thank you for sharing that with me i don't have my coffee cup but i have my coffee mug and i was all up in that story so thank you <laughs> I, I got a bunch of them i got a bunch of them so <laughs> Love it. Hey, Ch so Chuck, Chuck, how can they get in? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, I was, you know, you and I, we've done too many of these together. You were going to ask the same thing I was. Go ahead, T. All right. So, Chuck, if they want to have a closer connection with you, if they want to learn more about what you're doing and how they can fill their coffee cup, how can they get in contact with you? So, I'm on all social media sites. Um, TikTok, I'm kind of growing my TikTok right now. Uh, I'm on Facebook, Instagram, uh, every Monday through Friday, I post a coffee cup with a message behind it. Hey, go on there, subscribe to the YouTube channel where I got the podcast going. I got some great interviewees on there, great stories uh, that you can grow off of. And uh, if they want uh, to get a little more uh, information, just hit the email. And that's uh, the first cup at the first cup KC at gmail.com. Fantastic. We will ask you to throw that in the comments after you uh, uh, leave the stage so that they can get in contact with you. But let's give it up, you guys, for Coffee Cup Chuck Doyle in the building. Thank you, guys. Thank you man.